This is Francis Tapon with WanderLearn.com giving a quick review of not the Kindle Paperwhite, which is what I'm holding here in my right hand, but of this is the J case that is used to protect it and to hold it. Um, I like the fact that you can slide in a few couple, you know, a couple of pieces of paper right here and right here. You got two different compartments. So whether it's a, let's say a train pass or maybe uh, your information in case the Kindle gets lost, you can slide those in there pretty simply. Over here is how you get the Kindle in. You have the opening. Um, and then you just slide it in. It's just like that. It's pretty simple. And then you close it by just, it's all made out of leather here, so it's pretty straightforward. And there it is, secure. And you can see I'm shaking it, it doesn't come out. Um, on the underside here, you can see the power switch. Uh, let's see right there. I click on it, you see the green light come on. The USB is available. So even though it's in there, uh, the USB is available so you can charge it uh, with uh, the Kindle. And it's very easy. All the, the Since it's a touch thing, you don't need any other buttons to access. Last thing is when you close it, you can close it like that with a nice uh, elastic. So you, it's hard to open and it won't flop open, but it's much quicker than, let's say, a zipper. And a zipper actually has a tendency to get mucked up and, and break down. An elastic, I think, is a much better solution. Finally, it's a nice protective case, so you can drop your Kindle, and it's not super heavy, not super bulky, just the right size, I think, to uh, to work. This is my book, by the way, and I encourage you to visit uh, either francetapon.com or wanderlearn.com for more information. Thanks.